Okay, my name is Robert Thompson, and uh, did you get any pushback from the existing uh, food providers? And if so, how did you deal with it? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, me? Oh, look, so when I started Meatless Mondays, I had every meat producer on the planet, you know, uh, call me bad names. Look, it, it, people that know me and know me well and love me, um, know that I have an unholy love of pork, right? You know, you can put a crown roast on my head and anoint me the swine princess, right? So for me, it was never about sort of denying kids meat. It was about sort of beginning a conversation about access to other foods. Um, but because I come from this industry, I've had... Um, you know, this is not my first ride at the rodeo, you guys, you know, so I know a lot of these manufacturers. I was Don Tyson's broker for a lot of years, and, and uh, I did very well with him. Um, and uh, so I know these people, and uh, they're willing to help you, but I think you need to come to the table and say, <coughs> these are the products that we want you to develop. I'm part of a, a, a group of the 20 largest urban school districts in America, School Food Focus. And, one of my colleagues over here from the city of Atlanta, uh, and I have been working together for several years now to combine our purchasing power and leverage that uh, in influence industry around the products that they're producing. You know, I think one of the one of the uh, disconnects has been that we, as a community, have not sat down and had a real come to Jesus talk with some of the manufacturers about the health and the welfare of our children, and we kind of let them uh, dictate what the market is going to be rather than us going in and saying, these are the products we would like you to produce. I, I, there's, a, there's a member of the USDA in the crowd here. He's right over there. Okay. Uh, and look, uh, and these guys have been amazing for yes. the last two years. They have been stepping up to the plate. Mm -hmm. I've been screaming for four years about, like in school districts that cannot cook, and many of them cannot cook protein. I, I said, look, just give me chicken. Just give me a whole eight piece cut up chicken with the bone in it, unseasoned, without any crap on it. Um, and then, you know, send it to me and then I can finish it with my own sauces or my own flavor profiles on the end. And then at least my kids get that chicken has a bone and it's part of a bird instead of a nugget, all right? And I have to say, these guys stepped right up, they answered the call, and next year in many school districts across America, they're gonna start serving chicken again, all right? And, and, and it's through an effective government public partnership. But you gotta have the conversation, you gotta talk.